What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Tactical Pineapple Rides. I'm your host for this fucking thing, Tactical Pineapple. What in the world are we fucking talking about here today? Huh. Oh, shit. I swear to God, I talked about this a couple months ago. Well, we're going to talk about it again, apparently. Uh, Evan Hafer has stuck his foot in his fucking mouth yet again. And, uh, well, BRCC may actually be closed on this one, folks. Uh, I, I have mixed feelings about it, but we're going to talk about it as soon as I get done with this little intro. So, uh, kick that room room, and I'll catch you right back here. So guys, I think it's it's pretty well known by everybody at this point that Evan Hafer is once again under fire for some comments that he made. Uh, well, in you know recent days, I guess, as well as months ago. <laughs> you know, a couple months ago, obviously there was the whole issue with, oh, they donated to the Democrats and blah 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 and whatever. Uh, I'll write that off as uh, capitalism at its best, placating, uh, doing whatever. Maybe it was a, a bet, but uh, one thing I will say is if you have integrity as an individual, one would never bet with their integrity as what it is. And uh, I don't see you being a conservative and then donating to a liberal campaign uh, and maintaining your integrity. So, what is it, Evan? Do you have integrity, or do you not have integrity? Uh, on Dana Loesch's show, you claimed that you've been a conservative for a long time. Uh, maybe so. You know, this is the thing. Like, I hate, I hate seeing us eat our own. Uh, it's happening more and more lately. But. I think at the same time it's good because we're sifting through the shit. I don't, I don't necessarily know how to explain this, but you can be a two-way advocate and hate people who own guns. You can be a conservative and not like a subset of those individuals. Uh, there are comments that you've made, Evan, that are very disturbing. Uh, in reference to people who believe that Kyle Rittenhouse acted in self-defense. Um, it, maybe it's taken out of context. Maybe I just need clarification. But it, it seems as though you called those people repugnant. Now, maybe, maybe I'm misguided. Maybe the repugnant individuals that you were referring to uh, were individuals who were willing to basically try to make money off the situation, which would have been, you know, the individual who posted a link, uh, you know, saying, hey, uh, I, I believe the, the direct quote was like, Kyle Rittenhouse uh, also enjoys the best coffee in the world with an affiliate link code. And, and, and then you did actually, you know, eliminate that individual from your affiliate program, which I completely understand you have to be in control of your brand. I understand that completely. Uh, that It's just good capitalism, right? So you need to be in control of your brand. If you're not in control of your brand, you are not in control of your brand's message. Uh, this, is, this is integration, right? So this is marketing integration 101, essentially. Uh, there's no reason that you shouldn't be in control of your brand, and I can respect that. Um, the, the way it comes across, though, is that anybody who believes that Kyle Rittenhouse acted in self-defense is a repugnant individual and needs to be washed from your, you know, your roles or your your, your database of customers. Um, also, in reference to the St. Michael thing and, and racism and and how racists need to be eliminated and you would gladly pay them to go away. So, two things. Number one, must be nice to have enough money 
that you can legitimately say, I want to pay them to go away. All right? Pay me, motherfucker. I'll go away. Now, the proud boyish thing, you know, and I, I do the proud boy-ish because that's part of the comment. Um, they can't necessarily be white supremacists if they are led by a person of color, now can they? It's definitely an interesting situation you put yourself in when you call a group of individuals who are not only led by black individuals, but have several members who happen to be people of color, Hispanics, black folk, uh, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Color is nothing, it doesn't mean shit. And yet you're focusing on it and you're saying, all those types of people need to go away too. I don't want them to be customers of mine. Okay, um, so what you're saying is you're basically like Diet Coke or Coke now. You're, you're, you're that company. You're, you're trying to tell, uh, tell people who you want to be a customer. So what I'm hearing is basically that you're getting woke. You want to control your customer group. I have a feeling this comes back to capitalism where you're attempting to rid yourself of the whole right paradigm that gets placed on individuals who are right-leaning conservatives, who are gun owners, who are, are people who generally you know, end up on the right side politically. Um, and you're doing that because you're trying to gain some, if not all, of the left as potential customer base. Right? This makes sense. You grow your customer base, which means you make more money. Uh, you have a $240 million company. I don't know what your growth numbers were last year. I'm assuming they took a bit of a hit because of the whole shit with the written house seven fucking months ago. Um, but even then, I can write off the one from seven months ago. Associating yourself with the New York Times and, and the way you described it as you did it because you knew it was going to be a hit piece and you wanted to get ahead of it and at least be involved and kind of control your brand, I get it. Uh, I'm not taking what they post at face value either because this New York fucking Times. Um, but the the way you've come out in, in, in the shadow of this, uh, I know that you are the main coffee roaster. I know that you are the individual who, you know, is behind Black Rifle Coffee in general. Uh, Matt Best is obviously a marketeer. He is an entrepreneur. Um, I'm not holding anything against anybody. Hell, I think you should still be a part of the company. My issue now comes in the fact that I don't think you should be the mouthpiece of the company. I don't think... You want to be the mouthpiece of the company anymore. Um, you have a $240 million brand. That brand is tied to the Black Rifle Coffee Company. Or it is called the Black Rifle Coffee Company. It is tied to the Black Rifles that the leftists and liberals believe are scary. You, your whole logo and your whole premise of company is based around conservatism. And now you're attempting to placate to a base that's not a part of your general customer or general consumer base. And it's going to hurt you. $240 million company. And in the next couple months, I would imagine, based on the comments that have been had, you're going to start feeling the pain. I don't believe there's really much you can do to not feel this pain anymore. I'm a, I'm a coffee drinker, but I don't spend money on coffee because, frankly... I don't really care. If I have to, I'll stick some coffee grounds in my fucking mouth and just chew on them. I don't give a shit as long as I get the caffeine. Um, I am not a coffee snob. I would much rather spend my money on whiskey and bacon. And I know that sounds cringy, right? Whiskey and bacon. Well, you know, that's, that's who I am. I'm a whiskey and bacon kind of guy. There's other companies that have been in similar situations as you. Uh, and they're do just fine. It's okay. They're they're still going to survive. They're going to be a decent-sized company, just like you will. But the fact of the matter is, is that I'm going to choose to never put my money there. Um, and and that's fine. I, you know, I I'm not saying that 
I would cancel you. Like you have no, you have a right to be in business. I'm not saying people shouldn't spend money with you. If you have a good product, then go for it. You know, I, I don't have any problem with people spending money with you, regardless of your values or regardless of what you stand for. I don't like that you lie to people. Uh, I would respect you a hell of a lot more as a man if you came out and were honest. Um, I respect the shit out of what you do for veterans. All that being said, though, you're lying and grifting to make money, which kind of negates a lot of that good that you do. So, <laughs> I guess this is more a message to Evan Hafer and to Black Rifle Coffee Company. If you wish to survive the landscape, I know I'm nobody to you. Uh, I have no following. I have none of that. But if you wish to survive the landscape, I think it's time for Evan to back away. Um, he's always been kind of the one who puts his foot in his mouth. And as a company, you have to start making decisions if you actually want to grow. Um, do you want to turn your back on the people who helped you get to where you are in order to get that growth? Or do you actually want to you know, embrace the people who were there with you from the beginning. And I know I'm not one of them. I have no stake in this. I have no pony in this fucking show. But I know individuals who are. And they're they're pissed. They're pissed at the fact that, you know, you're not who you said you were. And I think a lot of people are going to get very agitated very soon with that. I actually agree with Evan on this portion uh, on Dana Loesch's show earlier today, yesterday. I don't know. I think it was up when it was yesterday. Uh, I just watched it today. Um, he said flat out that he, Evan Hafer said something about a, a purity test and how he doesn't believe in a person having to be pure all the way back, uh, which is probably the truest thing that I heard him say on there. Uh, and it was probably the thing that, you know, explained his point of view and everything he's done in the past better than anything else that he said. You don't have to have a pure soul all the way back. There is no reason for this purity test all the way back from the beginning. People are allowed to change their mind. People are allowed to believe things that others don't. Even if it goes against other people who are similar to use views. Um, I happen to know individuals who love the Second Amendment, who love shooting guns, but they also claim to be Democrats because they like the liberal policies. They like, you know, freedom of choice or, or you know, and, and all this other shit uh, that I don't agree with. But at the same time, I don't respect them any less. They're still a fucking person. So uh, associate with who you want to associate with. Don't hold people to high purity standards because eventually it's going to burn your own ass and then you're going to be in some serious hot water because you're going to be held to your own standard and your own standard is pretty fucking ridiculous if you ask me. Uh, if you're one of those people who are out here immediately just chastising and saying, See, I fucking told you what they did seven months ago, and blah, 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 and this and that, and blah, 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 If you're that person, you probably shouldn't be watching my videos because I'm an individual who's grown over the years. I'm an individual who's made mistakes. Uh, I was a convicted felon who now was in possession of firearms because I'm no longer a convicted felon. I received a pardon. I'm a law-abiding citizen, a law-abiding gun owner, and a two-way advocate. So, uh... Go fuck yourself. Allow people to change. Allow people to become better individuals throughout life. Um, Evan, be honest. Be honest about everything. Be honest about everything all the way back. And own up to shit. Uh, Matt Best, other individuals of BRCC, I'm sorry that you have to deal with these people uh, going and fighting and attacking you like that. But... Decisions have to be made from a corporate level if you want to continue to grow, if you want to continue to stay with the individuals who helped you get to where you are. Um, 
To everybody else, keep it two wheels down and shiny side up. Uh, don't forget, if you've watched to this point, give me a like, a comment down below. Uh, and if you aren't already subscribed, why don't you do that? Click that thing, hit the notification bell. I really appreciate it. It really helps us out. And at the end of the day, uh, it's just a button, right? Just click it.